who's this Keith Blanchard guy? I would say, well, he's a he's a guy that has many talents. Uh, you you won't know them all at first, but you don't know anything at first. was seriously thinking of becoming a Catholic priest. My dad puts the guitar in front of me and so bye-bye spirituality. So I lived the life of a musician. I didn't think at the time that my music and my spirituality were compatible and I began to realize over a course of many years that they were actually the same entity. And when I started putting these two together in my life, my path, it started to unfold. And so that led me to a place. In I was awakened out of my sleep by a voice and it was God's voice. All I can say was it was God. People ask me, how do you know it was God? Well, for me, that question is kind of silly. How can you not know this is what the question becomes. And so over the course of eight years, I wrote The Divine Principle. But I think what spawned The Divine Principle was a set of questions that existed inside of me ever since I was a little boy. There were four basic questions. Um, where did I come from? Why am I here? Who am I? And where am I going? Talented musician. And he wrote a pretty great book. You know, the, the Divine Principle is a pretty awesome read. You know. And for eight years, this started taking shape in a book that I've written called The Divine Principle. I think it's, I think it's incredible. I think that he's touched on something that not a whole lot of people, I mean, people have tried to touch on it, you know, but I mean, he, it's just like, it's so diverse, you know, and, and it's just, I, don't, I think it's incredible. Excited, motivated, full of fire, scared, not scared of the message and not scared of the presence, scared of how my life was going to unfold from that point forth. Um, I, I mean, what do you do with such things? Um, I could have chosen not to walk this path. I mean, I could still be a spiritualist and be quiet. That's not my nature. I wanted to share the joy and the excitement and the life uh, energy that was coming through me for this period. Um, a part of me felt special. I felt above and beyond everybody else. Not in a horrible ego way, but you know, you have to understand, it's, it's, it's a trip. I mean, what do you do with that? when you never had such energy come into your life. I mean, one, it does elevate you spiritually. And so it's a natural response to feel yourself rise. And so, um, but I knew that was not my path, was to take that on with a soul and head. But, you know, it was a process. It still is a process. I no longer see, and never, nor did I then really see myself as better than anybody else. Um, you know, how do you, how do you swallow such a pill? But, I mean, for anyone, actually. But, you know, now it's just a part of my everyday life. Uh, I hear God all talk all the time, and it's not necessarily in the Moses voice with the burning bush kind of voice. It was never like that for me. Uh, kind words out of someone's mouth is God talking to me. Are you living your passion, Chris? I'm getting there. <laughs> getting there? Chris is a piano player, keyboard player. Uh, so how's things going for you? Good. So Good. music is your passion, correct? Yes. And you're earning a living at it? Yes. So you're living the dream? Yeah. Are you living your passion? In other words, if you was a millionaire, not that you would go shopping, <laughs> are you doing what you would love to do if money wasn't your concern? Really, what is that? About to go to school. Do what? Are you in school now? So you just started. This is the first week. Yeah. Only a year. So life is good for you. So you're living your passion. Dental hygienist. Do you like it? Yes. Is this what you would be doing if you had all the money you needed? If you had no 
yeah. need for money. You would wake up every morning excited to be a dental hygienist. Yep. <laughs> Impressive. What do you do for them? I'm a DJ. Do you love what you do? Absolutely. And if I made you a millionaire every day, would you just continue to do what you love? Absolutely.